uh, takeaways niyo do sa mga naganap? Well, first of all, Anthony and Isabel, when I was there in the launch of the Philippines Football League, I thought it was a dream come true. I mean, just for a football fan, and I'm sure for the players and the teams as well, it's finally happening. It's really happening. This league of ours na home and away, that's a, it's, a, it's gonna be a grueling 28 weeks, uh, 28 games at least, it's finally happening. And after months and years maybe of, of speculation and, 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 and maybe uncertainty, now it's here and everyone is looking forward to it. Yun nga sabi natin, matagal na pinag-uusapan nito. At finally, it's at our doorstep. Si Delph, ikaw naman. Well, uh, you know, a few takeaways from, from um, uh, Mr. Arine, what Mr. Nolong Araneta said in, in his speech. Uh, they, he, it, they want uh, the league, of course, everyone wants the league to be sustainable and, and stable and successful eventually. And I think uh, that, has, that is the challenge now for, for the Philippines Football League. It's, it's more of sustaining the league through, through sponsorships, through building a fan base. So er, everyone, I think more of, you know, it, it was a beautiful uh, launch, you know, very professionally done. But uh, behind it, beneath it was, it's just the start. The hard work begins now for the Philippines Football League. You know, when you talk about the fans per se, gentlemen, do you think that the Philippine fans are now ready for a home and away format? They're ready for what we're going to be presenting to them in a few days. We, uh, Sabelf and I were able to go to Davao to witness their launch. And you know, it's, it's something else to see. Because places like Davao del Norte, not really many professional or any sports teams for that matter in that area. So now if, if Davao Aguilas go there and, and replay their home matches, it's a team now for that they can support and rally behind. Alam mo, I was able to talk to also the Ilocos people, and they said they wanted to create heroes where the local people and the local, maybe the young people, can get behind. And, and when you say heroes, you're yeah. talking about local heroes, because at least yun, mga nandudu sa area nila. Yes, and not just maybe born and bred in Ilocos, for example, maybe even not just uh, na, 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 na they're born and bred in Ilocos, but they're representing Ilocos, the region, they're Correct. representing their area. So now you can get behind them. And for example, as, as in the launch, nga sabi nga eh, we'd like to make a point against quote unquote Imperial Manila. So mm -hmm. if a team from Manila goes to Ilocos, Eh, baluarte natin Ilocos, di ba? We protect our turf, and that is another side story. Nico Sidelf. Well, you know, uh, as Ryan mentioned, you know, uh, coming from Bacolod, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, you know, these fans there, they're all waiting for it to happen. And, you know, Ceres has done a fantastic job in, in promoting their games. And, uh, you know, when there's not a lot of things happening there, so uh, it's a form of entertainment, family bonding, for example, for the fans. and you know, with the way they were promoting the game there, you know, I, I, I expect that, uh, you know, there, there's a cool factor. You know, they, they make you feel cool when you're in the stadium, when right. you're part of it. So th that's one of, one of the, I think, one of the few things I realized when, when I was in Bacolod when, in, in covering Ceres in the AFC Cup. So, you know, it's going to be an exciting time for, for, for the rest of, of the country and uh, for Philippine football. Alam mo, just listening to both of you, I'm getting so giddy about, you know, waiting till, till we get to next week dahil talagang gusto natin, inaasahan po natin na mag-kick-off na talaga para makita na po natin we can actually feel the spirit of the actually going through. We're